everyone, it's Chad Camp, your Alabama land agent. And if you're looking for a fixer-upper home under $150,000, it's nearly 3,000 square feet, it's got a barn, it's got a workshop, it's very private and secluded. Nobody would even know you're there. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. This is a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home at 18820 Highway 411 in the Springville, Odenville area. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We're always posting videos. Uh, if this is not going to be for you, please share it for other people to find it. And the reason I say this is in the Odenville, Springville area. So it's Odenville Schools and St. Clair County High School, but it's a Springville address. So if you're coming in, you'll take a ride on this driveway, that is, as I'm pointing out here on the property. The workshop's to the right of the house. Then you have the barn. It's a 40 by 60. It's got a little lean to, then, then there's the house. But we're going to see that in just a moment. But you're 10 minutes from Walmart. You know, you're, you're five minutes from the St. Clair County High School. You're another eight minutes to the other schools. You know, Pelham, you're 47 minutes. You're two hours from Huntsville, Alabama. You know, you're 50 minutes from Anniston, Alabama. 40 minutes from Birmingham. And then you're about another 40 minutes to Gadsden, Alabama, if you're looking for a place. But as we were coming in, we would stop here. The house is to the left there. I've just I turned around. And I'm going to turn back around and go back up the hill. But, you know, <clears throat> it's a dirt driveway coming in. Nobody would know you're even back here if you're looking for something private a getaway this could be it for you because when you drive by on 411 you just see the houses on the on the left and the right coming in and you really don't even know this is back here unless you saw a parcel map and you were looking at the aerial then you'd know this house and these structures were back here but if you're just driving by you wouldn't even know it. Actually, it probably would deter you from coming in because you wouldn't wouldn't be sure where to go. And if you come visit, you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you'd like to come see this, give me a call at the number below. But this is a full, approximately about 40 by 60, even including that lean-to area. But it's a huge barn. I had one price. It was 1,200 square feet, and they were going to charge me ten grand. You know, that's hiring it out to somebody else to do, but... This is again is twice the size, so it, to rebuild that would be a significant amount of money. But it's already there, so it wouldn't cost you much money to to fix some of the issues that are there. And this is a for, this is sold as is. There's not going to be any repairs. You just saw the shop workshop to the right. And we'll see that in a minute. But these floors coming in on this deck is concrete, and this is kind of a cathedral ceiling. Look how tall these ceilings are. You walk in, go straight back to the kitchen, but we're going to go to the right to the master bedroom here. This is a large master bedroom. You got his, her closets. You could put a king size bed. You probably could fit two king size beds in this master bedroom. And then you got this tiled area for the bathroom with a garden tub. His and her vanities. You got the, the, the um, obviously you got the toilet there, but then you got the other vanity on the other side and with a shower but it's going to need some work this house is not it's not for everyone you know most houses could be for everyone financing could be a lot of different ways but this particular one it's going to require some work but you saw the half bath foyer kitchen to the right we're going to go down stairs and you have to forgive me did not know the lights weren't working so the bedroom you're not going to really see, but it's there. It's finished. You got a laundry room, got this den area, got a one car garage. We're going to take a peek. We're going to go back in there and look at the laundry in a moment. And that's where the hot water heater is. But you had to kind of give me. I'm I'm fooling around here trying to see if I can get the lights on, but I can't get the light on at all. But if you come visit, we'll have flashlights and we'll get you in to the house. But this is the laundry room area. You have your hot water heater there, and then you've got the uh, one-car garage. But, again, the financing for this is not going to be for everybody. You're going to have to put some money down. That's where we just went into the towards the basement. Half bath here. Got a spacious kitchen. Lots of cabinet space. Got a little breakfast 
um, little bar there, um, lots of cabinet space. You got a little wine um, holder there. You do have a little area right over here for your breakfast, and then you got the eat in area you could use it for there or use it as a study you have the dining room with, with the wood floors now there's not a deck on the back, back side that's see that's one of those things that's going to have to be done and then when you walk in this kind of it's kind of like a sunken den almost and you got the wood burning fireplace right which is very nice i mean there's a lot of good here with this house but there's also a lot of work and when i say it's going to require a significant am am amount of money down um, you're not going to go FHA, you're not going to go VA, you, you could, but you're going to have to fix it and then, and then refinance it with your bank or mortgage company, but you're going to either have to use a conventional loan or you're going to have to buy it through the bank and fix it up. But this is just, I mean, it's a huge house. This is about 3000 square feet when you figure everything in basement included, but you, these are huge rooms. You could put king size beds in these rooms upstairs and have plenty of room you got this nice den study area for the kids this looks down on the foyer as you can see as, as you come in it's really kind of a could be a little show place getaway but again this is a private nobody knows you're back here i mean this is the full bath for the bedrooms upstairs and then you got this other bedroom and we're kind of walking towards the garage side the way we came in you can see the roof of the shop, and we're going to see that in just a moment. Walk-in closet, just a lot of opportunity. You know, if you want to see this, you can give me a call at the number below, and then you can call me at the, if you didn't miss the number here, it's at the end of the video. But this, if you're looking for an opportunity to really upsize, and you're someone that wants their privacy, you want, you're probably somebody that, would you know you're like well dirt road doesn't bother me um the homes coming through that i pass don't bother me almost it's kind of like it kind of deters other people from coming up well this may be for you because this is very private you don't even know this is back here again you have to look at an aerial aerial photo to know this is even back here but we just came up over here we're gonna walk that way we're going to, we're panning over here to kind of give you an idea what this yard looks like. But let's walk over here and kind of give you an idea where we are. And then we're going to walk back around. We're going to walk around the house here. But, um, but this needs a lot of work. If you're handy, you can save a lot of money doing the work yourself. Most people are not going to be able to be, are very handy. And some people think they can do it, but that's for y'all to decide for you if you feel like you can do the work on this because it does need work but it's got a lot of good got a lot of opportunity got a lot of structures here you just need some work and a lot of the work obviously is going to be on the outside you're going to have to put a deck on the back side as you will see in a moment you will have to work on the exterior here on the fireplace may need some HVAC units, but this we're selling it as is now. We're not going to fix anything. We're selling it like it is. Seller will probably come back and get some personal items out of the house and try to get it as little gone as he can. But we're gonna we're walking around to the shop because I want you to see that somebody could. If you had somebody that needed to come live with you too, you might can make this an apartment. That's another great opportunity about this. You could make this an apartment with a little bit of work. Of course, you would have to put a septic tank and everything to it. But it does have that appeal and that opportunity. Again, you're not very far from the interstate, I-59 at Walmart exit. A lot of opportunity. This is for you. Give me a call. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate you watching the video. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching.